guess what? Mom, you want to tell them? It's baby day. Baby day. Baby day. So we are on our way to the hospital right now. I am being induced today, this morning. It is March 22nd, 2017. My great grandpa Ross's birthday. Jensen's namesake's birthday. Lots of things happened on the 22nd of the I year. know. I was looking through my Facebook on my memories and like a lot of things happened on this day. Like I got my first car, got my first tattoo. This was the first day I got to Fort Campbell. Like my first unit was today. Like everything is today. <laughs> and now I'm having my first baby today. 22nd is your special day. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> but anyway. So we are on our way to the hospital right now. I am being induced this morning, and I'm really excited. I'm like really nervous. I'm really excited about coffee. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Get some coffee. Uh, yeah. So I was really worried that when I called this morning that they weren't going to have any beds available because my midwife did tell me that with it being a small hospital and very short staff, that there may not be a bed available. But she was going to go ahead and uh, cut this light. Go ahead and, and uh, schedule me for my induction anyway. So I called this morning and she told me, uh, the lady said that the nurse was doing the reports right now. So it would be a minute before she could get back with me to tell me if I'm allowed to come in today or not. And it was, there's a bed available. There's like three beds available, it's not like that. So I will see you at the hospital. So we are finally in the hospital. I'm not hooked up yet. I don't, I just, I don't want to be hooked up yet. But <laughs> eat that big hook. <laughs> but we're gonna have a baby. I feel like a basketball. Mm -hmm. At least they have TV. But this room is nice. Pretty nice. Call in Jasmine. Make sure to answer the phone. I'm sorry. So they have started my induction. She has put the pill in my cervix and other stuff. Um, I have to lay flat on my back for an hour um, just so that like the pill does its thing. Um, my mom would go get my medication because they needed my medication because apparently the, the medication that I do take, they don't have it here and they want to uh, know what I'm actually taking and stuff like that. Um, right now she's saying contractions are eight minutes apart, even though I don't feel anything, but right now I'm listening to baby's heartbeat and I'm like, I'm not really hooked up. The ceiling's over there. They don't want to, they're going to hook me up later on it, but yeah, just chilling, just chilling. But she was trying to say, like, this pill is like a 12-hour pill or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I misunderstood what she said. But, I don't know. Hopefully, I dilate fast. Right now, I'm at, at one and a half centimeter. So, we shall see. I'll give you an update when I get an update. <laughs> All right. Bye. Hey y'all! Get croutons all <laughs> yeah. Well then get croutons on the side. Oh my god. So right now I'm bouncing on the ball. I'm off the monitor. I'm out of bed. They want me out of bed for a minute. So I just sit here bouncing. <laughs> they have me hooked up now to this machine. Right now we're trying to order lunch. They're going down to the cafeteria to go pay for theirs and they're supposed to, room service supposed to be mine, so. Right now, I am supposed to be walking and bouncing on a ball to help dilate. What? 
My sister's finally here. Stop. Stop. Since y'all love her so much. Yo, I love them. <laughs> they, That's why they love me. I love them too. There's lots of love. <laughs> oh my goodness, when I went live, they went crazy over Savannah. No. Yes. <laughs> you know I got that Twitch experience. Yeah. Like, when I read chat, I'm like, bam. <laughs> I but, don't have to entertain a chat. Anyway, so I get to be up, for, what, she said two hours? Yeah, bouncing. Yeah, bouncing and walk around for two hours. And then um, I think they're going to give me another dose, and then I have to be back on the monitor again in bed. That is some really good diaper performance. So, <laughs> so that's what's going on right now. So right now I am walking. I'm going outside because I have to walk. But I am hurting so bad. I was literally in tears. Like, the contractions are starting. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know about this. This hurts. But I'm a, I'm a trooper. I'm a trooper. So... I'm just going to go for a little walk real quick, and then I'll come back in and I'll let y'all know what's going on, because this hurts. Y'all, this labor is no joke. Oh, my God. For all y'all out there who do this natural, I literally, literally condone y'all. Yes, like... Well, congratulate y'all. Like, I don't know how y'all people do it. I'm like, I'm what, three, almost four centimeters? Four. And my contractions were so bad, I was literally in here just crying and screaming. <laughs> Feel like. But they just gave me some medicine. They're, the guy that's doing the epidural, he's on his way. Because I, I can't handle it no more. It's, it's, oh. It's really bad. Nope, I'm gonna let see this. <sighs> oh, y'all, this hurt. It hurts so bad. Oh, like I just want the epidural. I just. But it's almost midnight, so we're not gonna have him today. It looks like we're gonna have him tomorrow. I wish we would have like started this yesterday. So that I could make my grandma happy. Mama happy. Grandma's happy anyway. I feel bad. But uh, my contractions are really, really, really close together. They're coming like, what, like sets of threes, fours? And then like I'll get a break. Like a good break and then they come back again. So. Right now they're just... They just got done prepping the room a little bit for the, the epidural. Anesthesiologist, I guess. Yeah, he's he's on his way right now, so I keep sh I keep shaking like so bad, but <sighs> but they just gave me some. Uh, oh, y'all can't even see me. Sorry. Fentanyl. They gave me fentanyl. Happy as clams. To help with the pain. And it, it does, it helps a lot. So, I'm getting starting to get cold, but I'm just I'm so tired, y'all. No, I don't know about baby number two. <laughs> I don't know about baby number two. Oh my god. Uh, so, it looks like. I've been in labor for, what, 13, going on 14 hours now? Not hard labor, she said hard labor now. No, when did I start? I came mean, in this morning at 9, but we didn't get started. Until after I came. Yeah, it was around 1 when you started having small contractions. No, it was before 1. I was having, like, small contractions, but they weren't as bad. So I think it was like, 
maybe, what, 11, probably? So, maybe 12 hours I've been in labor, so. Uh, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Y'all, freaking the epidural is the shit. I didn't feel a thing. Like, he told me, he was like, alright, you're gonna feel a pinch and a burn. And I felt a little pinch, like like you get like a regular shot. And he's like, "All right, now you'll feel a burn." And I was like, "Where the burn at? Where that? <laughs> no burn." And then all I felt was like pressure. Oh, let me switch hands. Since this is going off. Crap. Sorry. But uh, like all I felt was like a little bit of pressure, but. Get an epidural, that was easy as hell. It was. But my feet are like really tingly right now. Okay. But yeah, it was like nothing. But apparently I had two contractions, like really high ones. I didn't even feel them. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So now I can enjoy my pregnancy without crying anymore and being upset. I'm about to get some sleep. It is now past midnight, so it is. March 23rd, so we'll have a baby on March 23rd instead of the 22nd like I wanted, but hey, things happen. But anyway, I was so excited! I am so much better now, I'm so much happier. <laughs> right? So I'm gonna get some sleep. So. Look at my sweet Jensen. Ain't he adorable? Oh. Look at that hair. I see you feel that man wrap him. You feel that man wrap you? I know. Look at him. You lost your mittens. Let's see if we can get him to open his eyes. Hey, baby. Hey, monkey. Monkey. No. Hey. No <laughs> hook. 
No, I know. I'm making you uncomfortable. So I just got done eating, Mommy. Now you want to show me to the world? Here. Come on. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Here, I'm going to get a better view of him with his eyes open. Hey, baby. You want to show me your eyes now? Hmm? You want to show me your eyes? Jensen. No? What? What's that mean? Let's see if he can even open his eyes. So get that camera out of my face. I see you trying to peek. I see you trying to peek. No. Nope. Jensen. Hey, monkey. Y'all, he's got the same bird's mark as I do on his, going from his nose to his forehead. I don't know if you can see it. But it's so crazy. And he looks just like me. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. There we go. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get you to open your eyes. Mommy just, let, Mommy, just let me sleep. This was rough. Wasn't it? I'm going to get you with your eyes open. So I'll be right back, y'all. Since he won't open his eyes, we're going to have to put his shades on. For y'all that don't know, um, Jensen had jaundice. And he is getting better. <clears throat> you can actually tell. He came out looking orange like a pumpkin. But you can tell where his eyes are. Yeah, baby, let me see your eyes real quick. That they're still orange because this is covering them up. But he is starting to get his color back. And his cone head is gone. But he is just perfect. My little white baby, you know, I thought he was going to be black. <laughs> nope, told y'all. So he was 8 pounds, 1 ounce. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. And he was 21 and a half inches long when they recorded it. But my doctor said, for a record, we're gonna, they're going to put... Um, well, they put down for records 21 and a half. But he is actually 21. Because they measured his cone head. <laughs> but. And. But yeah. He had jaundice. And he had a little bit of my blood mixed with his blood. So they had to do some tests on him. Since I am O positive. And Jensen ended up being daddy's uh, blood type. Which is A positive. So. He got a little messed up, but it's okay. He's all better now. Yes, he is. So let's put your shades on and show everybody where you have to be at almost 24-7. But we're cheating right now. He needs a break. You want to show your eyes? No? Okay, we'll just show them a picture of your eyes. Well, they would look cool if his head wasn't so small, <laughs> but he's got to go underneath phototherapy, which is this little guy right here when he's turned on, but bam, and he pretty much has to sit here all day and all night, unless I am feeding him or changing his diaper, so I know you're about to get really mad at me, but I'll just pause this. So this is pretty much what he has to be in. He really doesn't like it. And you're about to start crying on me. Look at him. That's what he does. He like squeals like he's running out of breath. <laughs> there you go, baby. 
Yes. He loves it when I rub his head. Poor little guy. It breaks my heart. What? What? I know you don't like this at all. You don't like the sunglasses or anything. Y'all look at his dang feet. He got his damn daddy's feet. Look at how ugly they are. That's the only ugly part on his body is his dang feet. <laughs> Did you? No, no you didn't. Alright. We're gonna let them go. Okay, next video is Mommy's Horrible Labor Story. But we survived! High five! <laughs> Came to visit her grandson. I did. And he's wide eyed. Hi, monkey. He pulled his glasses down. Hi, monkey. Yes, he looked just like his mommy. Come in. Hey. You look just like your mommy. <laughs> he just pulled his, uh -oh. his glasses down. Do we need another pair? They just, they changed just them. brought me oh. a pair last night. But he took his gloves off, so he pulled them down. Oh, yeah. Are you going to fight me? Are you going to fight me? Oh, I know. I know, it is no fun. He don't ever fight me. Oh, you saying he don't like his grandma? <laughs> no, look how you do it. <laughs> Here, hold this. <laughs> oh, wait. I know, baby. Here's a treat. Um, nom 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 nom. Good boy. That's not sweeties. Yes, he does. Do you need another couple? Yeah, because one of the nurses spilled it. Okay. <laughs> I tried to clean it, but then it's now it's like sticky. It's so, okay. I'll get you a wipe. So I'll clean it up. Um, um, on Friday, did Kim come in to do a birth certificate with you? Yes. Okay, perfect. One more thing. She to do. did. <laughs> So we're going home. Look at his little going home outfit. He's passed out right now. Isn't he the cutest? So right now I'm just getting everything packed. Mom's bringing the truck around. I got him in the car seat. I'm just like trying to get everything so I get the hell out of here. Been here for four days. Four days. I want to go. So. Just updating y'all. Finally out of the hospital. It is March 26. <clears throat> and I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm gonna be tired for the next 18 years. <laughs> so we're gonna. Um, I don't know what we're doing. I'll update y'all. So we are out of the hospital. He's back there. Mom put him in the back. Yep. Sure did. You don't want to sit back there with my son. What? You're not. You're sitting up here with your mama. <laughs> so, we are on our way to... She's going to Walmart. I'm staying in the car. I'm like, I'm taking my three-day-old son in Walmart. Especially with all them germs. But, uh... We need to get his immune system up. <laughs> right? <laughs> taking him to Walmart after he's out of the hospital. I took you shopping. Like, right after we left. Like, to the grocery store. I did. Because we didn't have nothing nothing to eat. Um, we're just going to pick up some prescriptions. So. We was poor folk back in the day. And then after that we're going home. Well, we'll probably stop at my almost first. Right? Oh no, she says she's going to come over. Oh, her and Opa are going to come over? Yeah, they're going to come over. Oh, well, yay. 
Less worrying for me. These bumps, mama. My baby. Oh, Lord, there's a lot of bumps in life. You're going to have to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yep. So, that is it for this video. We are on our way home. I'm probably going to go home and edit this video, and then y'all are probably going to be watching it like you are now. <laughs> and then I'm tomorrow. What do I do tomorrow? Sleep. No, I don't. You don't have any appointments. I got to make an appointment for Wick to put him on Wick. I got to go down to the. No, I mean, I can't be doing all this. He's born. You just have to wait a couple of days. They told you stay at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. A couple days. I mean, you don't have to, but you can be like me and run the streets as soon as you have your baby. But I'm not getting this here. But <laughs> look, this is white. Hi. They can't see you. Look. Oh, well, they can hear me now. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so, Jason's got an appointment on 28th? Yes. This 26th, he's got like two days. So, he's got an appointment in two days. No, you have the appointment in two days. You do. Jason has an appointment, too. Oh. I have to schedule my appointment. Mine's going to be next Thursday. Jensen's got an appointment. Remember, they gotta do his blood stuff. They gotta check his Billy Rubin. Okay. Poor baby. Oh my goodness. So, let me just tell y'all real quick. So, they told me, they came in this morning, and my mama just left, and I had just woken up. And they told me that I was good to be discharged, but my son was not. And I was like, um, excuse me, why is my son not able to come home with me? Like, I want my child to come home. I'm not about to leave my child here. I want my child. <laughs> and um, they were saying that his belly ribbon was too high for his jaundice so that he couldn't come um, home just yet. So his doctor went ahead and ordered him. You go do your thing. Or do I got to go home with you? No. Okay. I was just listening to you, Yappy Jones. Oh. <laughs> but, um, so his doctor went ahead and was like, well, let me, you know, order another lab. He goes, um, just to see where he's at now. Because that morning, wait, no, this was almost afternoon time when they told me this. Mm hmm Yeah. But that morning he was at 11.4. And I was like, Oh my goodness. And he has to be below 10. And I was like, oh my God, like, I need you in the nines, baby. I need you in the nines. So, um, because he was like 10 and up, they can't go home. And I was like, you gotta be shitting me. So I started, I literally started crying. I called my mom just boohoo and I told her, I was like, I need you to come back over here. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I was like, I need you to talk to them. <laughs> I was like, I, I want my baby to come home with me. So they, um, <clears throat> so his doctor goes and runs him a test. So then the lab people come and they take him, and they go and do his labs. Um, then like an hour later, his doctor came in, you know, to check on him and do his vitals and stuff. And he was like. Um, he goes like, you know, we're just waiting on that last rap, uh, lab result. He's like, hopefully he can go home with you. He's like, let's, you know, help him pray. Who is calling? And, nope, McKinley. Goodbye. But, um, so he was like, you know, we're just waiting on them lab results. And I'm like, I know, and he can see me, like, starting to get all tearful. And I'm like, I just want my baby to come home with me. And then the nurse comes in, she's like, 9.9. .9. I was like, what? What? And he's like, yeah, you can come home. I was like, he made it by point one. <laughs> so that is what we're doing. We're on our way home now. So I'm excited. So now my next video will be my crazy labor story. I have not told y'all what happened during the whole labor and delivery. And y'all are going to be shocked. We almost died. Just hit. So, see y'all later.